Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know Lee. My name is AJ. Welcome back to Let's Build a Port. Another episode of Let's Build a Port. There's a lot I want to get done today. Uh, I want to get like a little bit of a car park over there in that sort of blank space. Uh, I was thinking about this crane. I really like this crane because it's... I don't know if there's anything like this in real life. I know we've taken this from Call of Duty. Um, I don't know if it, if there would be any point of building something as big as this in, in, in real life when a crane would do exactly the same and would be a lot less metal and probably a lot less expensive. But it allows you to put a crate down at any orientation uh, and at any spot within that circle. And I was thinking, well, how do they get, how do they get the crates off the boat to get them onto this area in the first place and they use a crane but i don't want to use the same crane as what we've got building that skyscraper over there i want to build our own uh crane our own port crane so i googled port crane a load of different ones come up and i found a really nice blue one it's a really odd not it's a crane shape but it's got some like interesting sort of angles to it that i want to try and replicate uh, that we're going to build just there it's just there somewhere uh, i think and then there's a lot of sort of detail-y parts, small little touches that I want to do around the place. Let's turn the shaders off here. And the first thing that I want to do is get this car park down, at least sort of the size of where it's going to go. How much depth do we have here? If I grabbed that block right there and we went one, two. Are we good? Three, four five six which is the depth of a, a car parking spot and then we come over here by doing uh blink one two three four five you can get away with and then how many spots do i have here one two three four five six okay so we can have uh one set of parking spaces then six block of three which also gets out of the way of the door which is nice and then one two three four five six uh so we can have two lines of car parking spots here which would be good because that'll give us a real nice sort of size i think if we go from here first and we go right to the corner we really try and utilize all of this space otherwise it's just wasted i don't want to, i don't want to have any more crates i think we're done with the with the crate amount here um but having this sort of blank space is a little bit dull. So I can fill all of that up with car parking spots. And the same down here. We can't... What is with my frame rate? It's that, that stupid cruise ship really does mess things up sometimes. We'll go at like seven. Um, we can't fit two in. However, we should be able to fit... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Wrong way round. Like that. And then have like what is it like four blocks uh in front that'll work so we have car parking spaces down there and down there for all the workers this is a big area there's going to be a lot of people working here so i need to do that i'll do that off camera i'm not going to put a bunch of lines down with you that would be an absolutely boring episode uh the other thing that i want to do before we do the crane is crates and barrels both of these would look amazing i think we want to sort of stick with just oak i don't want to mix more than one sort of color but having some crates around the place um up against containers and stuff like that i think would look really cool so we can do something like this you have to shift click on them because they're also chests as well so they'll open up <laughs> if you don't hold down shift and then have some sort of barrels maybe the barrels should be a different color like a slightly dark ooh, barrel like a slightly darker one yeah, just so they stand out a little bit like that. Do you know what I mean? Just like a little collection there and the little collection. I don't want to go too close to where that crane's going to be. I want to. We're pretty limited on space there already, so I don't want to uh, sort of get stuff in the way like that. And then some barrels. Oops, just sort of spammed around the outside as well. Yeah. So we can do some clumps of those in places around the map as well. Like filling up some of these little sort of awkward little spaces with that kind of thing. Uh, I'm sure there's probably some other stuff, but we'll have a look at that later on in the episode. I want to get this crane uh, down first. It doesn't actually have to be that big. Uh, it's only got to be high enough to get like onto uh, a ship. So it's not got to be way up high in the sky. It doesn't have to be anywhere near as tall as that, to be honest. Um... I'm going to do this blue. I think the blue is actually going to go quite well with the uh, 
uh, with the water and with the area and stuff like that. We don't have any blue crates here, so it's not like it's going to blend in or, or look weird. And then we're going to want to have some sort of foundation block as well. Uh, yellow, um, stained clay, black, uh, wool. I think I want for that. No, what is that? Planks for that. And then some sort of uh, grey foundation -y block. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's say we had one leg roughly here. And then let's leave. We're going to leave an odd number. So one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That would leave us a middle point, yeah? Perfect. Okay, so we've got a middle point there. And then we want to come back here. I wish I could go. It would be cool if, like, you could do it over the road. So you sort of drive underneath a section of it as well. But we don't really have the room for that. That should be fine like that. It looks like it would be stable enough. Now, uh, the legs will come up here, so I'm just going to give us a little bit of height, and then we can do a little bit of a small foundation to it, so it's not going to sort of just topple over, uh, like, I think we'll go two, oops, two blocks wider than the legs, like that. And then on top of this, I want to have some sort of yellow and black um, hat. You know, we can go over the road there. It's only a smidge. It's only one block uh, over the road. That's fine. And here. Okay, wonderful. Uh, yellow and black then just to uh, keep that sort of warning look going. So we want to have these... Did I hit a button? How did <laughs> just change block randomly there and here, and then we put the yellow ones in, and then the yellow, the, then the layer above it, uh, I want to drop in a little bit. I might also make these legs thicker as well, at least at the bottom. Uh, they look a little bit spindly compared to the foundation uh, height. Now, for the moment, I'm just going to fill this middle part in with yellow, and same over here. Like that. I should have probably just built one. <laughs> and then copied and pasted it. Oh well. That's okay. We're nearly done now anyway. And on this one. And then you want to make the yellow and black just go in a little bit. So we have like the black ones there, 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 and there. I've got hiccups. That one now. And then the final yellow ones to fill in those gaps. And then on top of this, we can then make the legs just a little bit wider. That one. That one. That one. And that one. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, maybe a little bit of detail here and there won't go amiss. Some uh, cobblestone walls and stuff like that. Walls. We have these sort of coming up like that. Gives it a little bit of depth, a little bit more detail. Oh, we're very, very close to the wall there. That's okay. Uh, and do that on all of them. I'll do that off camera. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. All right. So, blue, we can make these legs a little bit thicker like that. And they go up. Uh, they don't go up too high. They go up to about... I'm going to say about that height. We might end up being quite tall, actually. Uh, I can go a little bit like I can go like there. Okay, and put these ones down, that one, and like that. So there's a little bit of a of an arch on each leg. Obviously, that comes up there, up there, and then the next arch goes across again. And this is obviously a bigger arch because uh, the distance is a little bit longer. Like that. You probably go like more of an arch like that since we've got the sort of room for it. So you got you get this sort of uh, this sort of base down that goes up there, up there, up here. Let's get it all up to that sort of height. That one, that one, that one. All right. So looking more solid, more, look, already looking more sturdy. That one, 
that one and that one. Oh no, not that one, that one. Not on this side. It's just a single block on this side. Single block there. And then run that all the way along. And then we can have the bigger arches, the three blocks in each corner on that one. Okay. Now, above this, let's have a look on the picture. Uh, above this, it's actually really weirdly thin from now on. Uh, and I'm not joking, it, it, it's strange how this even stands. It just must be very, very strong steel. But this comes like up uh, quite high. And then that side connects to here, like in a diagonal. I need to go up a little bit higher. But it goes in like a like in a diagonal shape. Now I thought it would be like a giant like a giant cuboid that goes all the way up, you know, really strong and powerful. Uh, but it, it's it's relatively thin in comparison. This then comes up and joins up to there. Now, I don't know. It's not every single block. That would go to about here. I'm going to go up every two blocks. Uh, so I'm going to come in here like this. And then we'll match the vertical one to wherever this ends up being. Like that. So let me join this up to here. And then we make this uh, section look the same as that, but just on a diagonal. So what we do for that is we add the side ones in. Oops. Like that. And like that. And the same on the other side those ones in and then you add one on the bottom uh, one or two on the bottom probably two on the bottom like that so it now should look like it's sort of a uh, the same sort of pole but at an angle yeah perfect I uh, need to thicken up this area so we shall go a bar along here and there and the same on the inside I might change that from blue to a different color, um, just so it stands out. I actually think I like the blue. So like that. Okay, so I need to do the same thing on the other side, and then we'll start on the crane on the top. There isn't really much more. There is a couple more poles that we need to do, but not until later on. So I'm going to get the car park done. I'm going to put some crates down around the place, and I should do exactly the same thing as what I've done here on the other side, and put the cobblestone walls around the base, and we should carry on. Okay? All right, so just putting in the final braces of the crate that we've got up to so far. I've done everything else in the area. Let me quickly show you that. Uh, I've got all these collection of crates around everywhere. Look, all around these. It's really cool because it actually allows you, look, in some spots to get on top of the crates. Like you could jump on top here and get on top. I really like that. It's got these like collections absolutely everywhere and they they suit really well and then the car park is in as well. That fills up that area really nicely. It's looking nice and busy. That's exactly what you want from a cargo port. You want it to look busy and bustling and this is sort of the way that our island makes money is this cargo port. We don't really have anything else, at least not at the moment, uh, to make money. So we need it to be very, very busy to keep the whole island sort of working. Now, our crane over this side, this is looking really cool as well. I'm already liking the shape. And what happens now on top, I never built one of these before, so there is half of it being made up as we go along, I will admit. <laughs> ne never done it before. Never it's not too often that you, you get to build, that you have to build one of these. So let's, I like those two connected, but I don't like that one there. And we'll have this whoop, connecting over to this side and one longer as well. Did I do one longer? No. We'll do one longer as well. So it looks like it's sort of um, overhanging on it. Like that. Like this one. And the top one. Ugh, come down here. And once we've got that pole in, you can then have the, the, the crane arm is sort of attached underneath this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a three by three cube, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it in the middle like this. And then come down like this. 
So we've made sort of like a, a cube that sits underneath it. And then that cube continues on forward and that's going to be uh, the, the crane part. So we do another one here and another one there. Now we don't need to go too crazy far with this, I don't think. Uh, there must be a quick way for me to do this though. If I stand here, copy, paste, there we go, paste. Now you want to get it so it would overhang over a boat. I want to build a cargo, bo uh, a cargo boat if we can, uh, underneath here, is that far enough? Yeah, that looks like it's far enough. Okay, uh, that might even be too far. I don't know, there's, there's like one block out. Maybe if I fix that. Dudunk. Dudunk. Stand here. Cut. Paste. There we go, so we fix that. I think that's a pretty, these things are like really long. You could go, in real life, they'd be a lot longer than that, but I think uh, for, for us, it's going to work pretty well. Uh, I need to add a couple on here by hand because I can't get underneath it. Like that one. And like this one. Maybe we change the color of this crane part to uh, a different color, an orange, maybe. I could do that whenever, though. We can change that afterwards once we have a, have a good look at it. Let's go back a little bit now as well, then. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And then this side is what has the sort of counterbalance on it. Did I do it all right? Yeah, done it all right. Okay, now we have a triangle that goes from here up to there and then back down again. So I think we shall, uh, we can probably get away with this being a little bit thinner now. And I think we can get away with going up. every single block so we go up in like a diagonal like this we should know when we get to the middle that should be about the middle and the same on this side like that i don't think that's high enough no i think we'll go up every every two blocks a game uh it didn't look high enough to to really work as support so we'll come up every two. And again, you'll know when you're in the middle because you'll line up with that crane bottom. I think that's the middle. And the same over here. And then once we've got that in, we have a probably a cobblestone wall or something. Aha. <laughs> that one. That one. There we go. Uh, a cobblestone wall or something that ties that to there and that to there. I want a beacon, a red beacon on top. I want, while well, I've got this red beacon, I want to put them on top of this as well. Like in the corners. Like that one. That one. How come that one is in the middle? Oh, because it's not. That's why. That one. Uh, that one it, it's just a, it's such a small touch I don't think any of you guys really care about it <laughs> but it does make a difference when you look at it you just see those sort of little red dots on the top okay uh, so then I want this to come down to there this doesn't go right to the end I think what we're going to do is we're going to come down every single block with the cobblestone walls and then we'll extend the crane if we need to uh, I also want to put like a little bit of a stronger section on the top here i don't mind it being one block thick but i think this part just needs to be a little bit thicker something like that like a little bit of an anchor point you know on the top there then these come down every single block so we do like a di a perfect diagonal all the way down here how close are we? We're getting pretty close. And then the rest of the crane, according to the picture, sort of overhangs by another quarter, roughly. And <laughs> it would like, there we go. It would line up with the hull, wouldn't it? 
Okay, uh, so like another quarter. So you could probably sort of add another two to this, I think, and it would look it it, it, it would it would look comfortable. Stutter. What a stutter. I don't usually stutter, do I? There we go. There's a couple there. Yeah, I think that's good. And then the same on this side, but instead of being a silver one, I'm going to do a, uh, a blue one instead. So this sort of comes down like this. Now, I think, I don't know how this crane turns or works. Like, I don't know how exactly the crate comes off. I like to think it slides underneath. It, so it picks them up, picks it back up, and then slides it underneath and through this section. That sounds like, and then it can drop it off here, you see. That sounds to me like it would make sense um but yeah that, 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 that i assume that's about right now we also want to have uh what i assume is the controlling booth uh for them let's have this a little bit of a gray section i'm going to come out three blocks on either side two three one two three four five six seven blocks back something like that this is where they control it from and little blue section, blue room to go above here. And here like have a little seat in here and uh, windows, glass. Um, I'm going to use full block. No, I'm going to use panes. And I want a full 360 degree view here so he can see sort of at all angles because he's going to want to know what's around him. And we're going to want to have this, I think, two blocks high for scale to suit the rest of it. If it was only one block high, I think it would look a little bit pointlessly small. So we'll have this coming around here. And then we'll have a nice, uh, I think, blue ring on top of this. And then I think we'll go with these slabs, little grey slabs, just a little bit of a thinner top above this. slab of those to go on top i still might make the I, I i like the blue but i still might make the crane bit orange it's just so it's different it all stands out you've got loads of different colors a very colorful part of the map i think this must be one of the most apart from maybe rainbow row one of the most colorfulest parts of the map with so many colors that are being integrated into this okay we need to not make this look like it's floating so we're going to do Something like that. And that one. And that one. There we go. It looks like it's a little bit more uh, sort of anchored in. And then there's two lines. Uh, one joins up to there-ish. Like from here to there. And same on the other side. And we're going to do this out of a clay block. Like a grey clay. So we're going to start here. And we're going to come down perfectly diagonally and hopefully end up somewhere around there. Hopefully. No, no guarantees. Like this. Now, how the guy gets up into there, into that control booth, I... Oh, we're there. Uh, how he gets up into there, I have no idea. There is no visible uh, hint. <laughs> on the picture on how he would get into there uh i'm gonna do that and the same thing over here and then i'm gonna join these up oh no i can't i can't join those up the crate has to go through the middle there okay um i could go diagonally back again Like this i don't want to make them like the really thick ones like we've got on the side you we only want these like one block thick but this works the crane can the the container can still slide through the middle really nicely yeah and then it looks like it's it's strong enough to hold uh, i might take that top one away 
No, I think I like that top one in. Okay. So this side also joins up. And what else? There's some lights on it. Um, oh, the crane of it. <laughs> <laughs> obviously uh, I'm gonna leave the like there's like some spotlights up the top there but we don't need to worry about that too much I'm gonna have the crane over this end and do I want to make it while I'm here do I want to make that bit orange no I think I like it blue I'll make the crane part no orange yeah I'll make the crane part orange we'll make it out of orange clay so it's different to the wool and we want this to sort of have a runner look Uh. We want to, it doesn't really matter on the size. I can always reduce it by one. Wool. We'll use this one because it's got a little line down. It looks pretty. Oops. Like that. And. Like that. So that looks like it's like connected to it. And then the crane sits underneath here. So we have that one and that one slide back and forth I think we'll cover up the entire bottom of this part with the orange oh yeah it's looking cool and then we'll use normal walls not the ones with the lines on it because that look weird now coming down let's come down a, a fair way I think well, maybe that's a little bit too low maybe there and the same on oops same on this side like that and then put a crate uh, I got a green one on that one uh, let's just have a red crate underneath it red wool uh, three by what was it it was three by like nine or something wasn't it one two three four five six seven eight three by eight hopefully this fits pretty well one two three four five six seven if I made that one longer, we could do that there. Have that coming up there. And then it fits superbly in the center then. That one, that one, that one. And that one. Yeah, that fits really... Uh, yeah, no, that fit, that, I'm happy with that. And then three blocks wide and three blocks high. I can't wait to back off and have a look at this. I think I think we're going pretty well. Uh, apart from that, the crane is pretty much done. There's always like more structural beams that you could put in. Um, but that's pretty much all it is on the picture. <laughs> yeah, and then that, that hoists it up. It slides underneath and then drops it off onto a lorry that can then move it to anywhere underneath the cra that crane or something like that. Oh, that's so cool. And it is taller, so it gives like another level of height. It looks so cool on the map as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm happy with that. I think that's pretty good, right? I think that's all we've got time for this episode as well. So if you guys enjoyed it, then hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. And when these shaders are loaded... I shall see you in the next episode. <laughs> I'm lagging. Ah, here we go. There we go. Wow, yes. Yes, let's get it on the other side that has the sun on it. And we'll take a screenshot for the episode. It looks absolutely huge. A really nice scale, though. Really good size. It doesn't look too small, uh, and it doesn't look too big. I think it's really good. All right.